This is 101 Tips for Interviewers and Interrogators. I'm your host, Stan Walters. Welcome to tip number 18. All right, tip number 18 for 101 Tips. I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about Googling your subject? Wait a minute, let, let me explain that. I don't mean go on the internet and search them. I mean Google them. Google their knowledge base. Follow me for just a minute. If, if you were to Google plumber, how many hits do you think you might get? A couple million maybe? Sure, okay. What if you Googled plumber Jefferson County? How many hits would you get? Surprising enough to have checked this out. There's, you know, there's 26 Jefferson counties in the United States alone. So think about the number of hits you would get there. What if you Googled plumber Jefferson County, Kentucky? How many hits would you get? Finally, if you Googled plumber Jefferson County, Kentucky, tankless water heaters, how many hits would you get? My point is, interviewers just randomly fire off questions. They just, just questions in all different directions and just kind of like bombarding. It's almost like a, a meteor charge. Just come from all directions. We're not thinking strategically or tactically how to get information from subjects. Think of Googling. Think how you would Google. If you couldn't find exactly what you wanted, but you got too many responses, you would broaden your search terms and see if you could get more. And so the longer the term, the more specific the details you get. So which type of interviewer? Are you just kind of dabbling? You know, there's a study about how people use Google and how they search. People are only using one or two words on Google. They're just kind of browsing. They're, they're wasting time at the office, if you will, killing time. But people are using Google who search long-tailed search terms, four or five words, are looking for very specific information. And sales tell you, when they find it, they'll probably will buy it. Think of that in terms of your subject's mind, their experiences, their cognitive emotional responses as a huge database. And you're Googling that database for information. Use a much more penetrating, long-tailed search terms. When you find the hot spots, spend time, essentially that would be, we talk about drilling down for information. It's interesting, the more specific the question, the more point and direct the question is, the stronger the subject's response if they're being deceptive. If they're being honest or cooperative, the greater amount of detail that you'll return. Think of Googling your subject. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you've just dropped into the middle and get the other 100 tips from our series. Please connect with me on face, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Love to share with you. And that'd be great. Share with me down here below in the comment section. Tell me, try some of the idea of the Google concept. And it, it, gets, it gives you a lot of confidence. Tell me what you've learned by doing that. Tell me the results of adding or changing your interviewing style to like a Google search. Please share this uh, internet, uh, this uh, video with other folks. Tell them to come back here and join in with us. Join the discussion. Check my website, theliguy.com, for more study guides, more interviewing tools, and the Lie Guy blog for comments about ongoing cases. See you next time on 101 Tips for tip number 19.